listening to I Am Refocused Radio with your host, Shamaya Reed. This show is designed to inspire you to live your purpose and regain your focus. And now, here's your host, Shamaya Reed. Hey, welcome to I Am Refocused Radio. We are here once again. You know what time it is. It's that time of the year where we have the true honor talking to contestants on NBC, The Voice. You can watch on Mondays and Tuesdays, 8 to 7 Central. We had the contestant, Steve. I mean, Gwen said his voice was perfect. John <laughs> said his voice was flawless. You did it on the battle, man. You did it. You made it. You're here. How Thank you feel? Thank you. I feel great. I really, really feel great about the battle. Um, Willie and I, we worked tirelessly to make that battle what it was. And I'm proud of the both of us because, you know, we did put in the work. Um, Willie is a dancer. He's worked with everybody in the industry. You know, um, of course, everybody knows him and Britney. Britney Spears worked together for a very long time. Um, and of my thing is singing and vocals and harmony. So we put our forces together and we helped each other a great deal. And that battle is what, what you got. And in my personal opinion, I think that it's an extremely strong battle. And we both, we both brought it as much as we could. And to John's point, he said he doesn't literally get stumped like that in a long time. So for him to say that and knowing both of y'all having the power of vocals, man, and four chair turn, I mean, the pressure was on. How did you keep yeah, it Yeah, cool? it was. Keeping cool, I just had to trust in myself. It's just, you know, having having the security in the many years of being on stage and performing in front of crowds and paying attention to how crowds react to you, bombing some shows, learning from that, you know, and bringing all of that to the national stage. You know, when we did get paired, uh, I, there was there were a couple of contestants I was kind of like, uh, if I get paired with them, it's going to be, you know, kind of scary. Um, and Willie was one of them. Will, Willie was literally one of three I had in mind. And they paired me with one. And, I, you know, it is what it is. I just knew that I didn't want to embarrass myself in front of someone who had done so much and has such a great, you know, career. And I wanted to be somebody who he would be like, I definitely would work with you if you were, you know, a signed artist. And I wanted that respect and validation from my own battle partner. So that's what made me cool the hills, get up there and do what I had to do. I mean, having the honor of having a coach like John Legend, I mean, that in itself in life is winning right there. You can check that box. So yeah. what is it like, man, to really hold in on the words that he tells you when he gives you feedback? First of all, um, John has a way of articulating himself so well. Um, I listen to everything he says. Um, he is John Legend, you know, inc- just insane writer and producer. Um, I love the music that comes out of his head, you know. So to even have him know about my abilities and gift was just on another level all by itself. I mean, he was the first person to turn for me and and the blinds. So when he turned for me, that was the sigh of relief. And I remember after that, you know, it was just kind of like just finished this performance. But when it came down to actually sitting down and the battle is the first time that I actually get to, you know, go one on one with him and say, you know, hear what his feedback is. It just you you trust everything that he says, because you know what he he knows what he's talking about. You know, his musicality is out of this world. So whatever notes he gives you, you take them. And then for me, I just wanted to make sure that he knew that I was somebody he could bet on and to make him proud. So I took his notes and perfected it. And then, you know, of course, made him proud because of the outcome. So I'm so happy about that. It's an honor. It's an honor. Like top tier moment of my life to have John Legend as my coach. We're talking to Steve. He's a contestant on NBC The Voice. You can watch on Mondays and Tuesdays, 8, 7 Central. You have a powerful story. There is a story that you share on the stage after the four chairs turn about someone special in your life. Matt. Yeah. Yeah. Matty Matt. So, you know, Matt, I my initial 
you know, introduction to John Legend period was Matthew. Matthew saw him back home in D.C. I forgot who he was opening for. I want to say, I'm not going to say who I think it is because I always get the story wrong. If he were here, he'd be like, why do you always think it's them? And I'm not going to say who it is. <laughs> but it was a really cool concert and John Legend opened up. He was He was new at the time. And all Matthew would talk about was John Legend. And I'd seen John Legend. I knew that he had a couple of hits out, you know, at the time. But I didn't get into the deep cuts of John Legend until Matthew brought me. I think it was the second album John ever had. And when I tell you Matthew was like a connoisseur of John Legend, he knew Every song, every story why John wrote it, it's incredible. And not only that, Matthew was one of my biggest supporters in my music career. I'll never forget, I talked to him on the phone, and this had to be last year. And we, I was going through a moment, and I was, you know, contemplate whether I was going to continue to sing or not. And he literally said, Joker, your first record was this. And he told me what my artistry was. He said, your second album was, and I couldn't believe that he was like dissecting my artistry to me. And even furthermore for me, I couldn't believe it was him doing, he's my cousin. He's like my brother. And you know, usually when you have family that close to you, it's kind of like, Oh, you know, Steve does that little music thing he does. But for Matthew, he really got into my artistry and saw me for everything that I was. And I'll never forget that. And what's heartbreaking about it is he passed away three weeks before I got on a plane to go to The Voice. And I was just able to tell him that I was on The Voice. He wanted me to do The Voice for years. So it was heartbreaking. I had to go through my grieving process before I got on the show because I just didn't want to be a wreck on there. So I made myself listen to him, him singing. I looked at pictures of us. I just made myself cry to the point where I was numb so that I could do the show and talk about him and it not be like this big old thing. You know, I didn't want to introduce myself to the world just being a wreck. So yeah, man, Matthew was one of, one of my, he's in my guardian angel now, you know. Now America gets to see you on TV live this journey. When you look at the opportunity, you're on the biggest stage, live television. You're just calm as can be. And you have this focus when you're on the show. What is the most thing so far that you appreciate having this opportunity? Oh, man. <laughs> This is going to sound so crazy. The fact that they chose me to be a contestant. I mean, it's it's it starts right there. The fact that they chose me. That's just you don't even you know, you know, I kind of touched on it in the battle round when they uh, interviewed me, you know, talking about trying to get in the music industry since 14 years old and being turned away because of. People thinking you weren't marketable enough. I mean, when I was 14, I was going through, you know, going from a kid to a teenager to a man, you know, and it's just like everybody goes through their little awkward looking stages. But, you know, it was always that that was the thing that always came. Ah, can we sell him? He's marketable. Ah, da, da, da. You know, so to audition for Idol back in the days and get turned away. Yeah. Then to go to the show and they choose you and not only do they choose you, but, you know, you do well and they are spotlighting all of the great things that I'm doing. It's just it feels really, really great. So, yeah, to answer your question, the fact that I was even chosen to be a part of the season, it just starts right there. Last quick question before we let you go. When you look at the opportunities ahead, um, you still got your coach. Mr. John, and so I say, legend, true legend, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how excited are you? I mean, I'm, I'm sure you got your little, you know, butterflies a little bit, but how excited are you to be able to have a coach like that in your corner? It's, it's, it's worth its weight in gold. It's priceless. I mean, you know, the amount of tutelage I can get from him, and not only that, we know each other now and the possibilities of having some work with him in the future, which is really what I would love to do is work with him. I don't even care what aspect it is. I have that connection now and I know that I have that connection for life because of how much we have connected already. So I'm just over the moon about that. I mean, I, 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 I walked away with the prize just because of my connection with John. 
period. You can watch NBC The Voice on Mondays and Tuesdays, 8, 7 Central. We've been talking to a contestant, Steve, once again. Man, best wishes and thanks for your time. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you.